All right, here we are. We're in the semifinals of the Man Made Me Tournament of 2020. You can see the board currently. Um, I'll put all the names of what's still up there. We don't know what means what necessarily. We have some um, idea after tasting them. But this is what we currently have, if you're interested. And these two, we, we set the meads on there to help us um, vote. And you'll see that here in a second. If you haven't seen the quarterfinals, go check it out to watch what happened there. But here's the semifinals. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this and start with mead number 11 and mead number 3. Alright, we're going to start with mead number 11. You're of course going to see what it is. Um, we have an idea what it is, but here we go. Mm hmm So, again, if you haven't watched the quarterfinals, go check it out. We eliminated out a couple of these and um, for some reasons. If you want to go ahead and vote and say, hey, well, um, I think that the blah 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 mead's going to win, go ahead and do that. You should take your guess. But this is definitely the apple pie. Mm -hmm. Bush. I don't know if you... You said that earlier you had a, you were going back and forth between two. I went back and forth on a lot of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, it's still happening. Because, you know, when you look at it and you and you, you look at the sheet and you're going, okay, we got raspberry, mixed berry, cherry. And these are all some sort of berry. Yeah. So, thing. Close. so those flavors, when you're, you know, when you're trying to, like, think about it, they can be hard to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, they're all very similar. I, I'm confident that it is the apple pie boche. Again, this is a guess because I don't have list I mean I don't have the exact number of what it is in front of me but mm -hmm. that's my guess let's try number three okay now okay yeah 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 I know what this one is I know it I think I said the wrong thing earlier about this one I believe this is what I didn't guess on my sheets earlier but the apple and cinnamon meat really? ah that would make sense. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. I kind of see that. I, I think I, I see that. I think this is that. I like it. I think it's really good. This is what won the tournament. This is not to impede your you know judgment or anything like that. <laughs> no. But this is what won the tournament in twenty eighteen. That in fact the fun thing the final two of that were the peppermint and the apple cinnamon, mm. which is interesting. So, all right. Um, this is hard. This is where it gets harder because. These are good. These are getting better meats. We've kind of got rid of the garbage ones. <laughs> no, well, I don't yeah. think any of them are garbage. Yeah, none of them were really um, bad. Uh, this is hard. Man. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go. I think oh. it's, just, it's more complex. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's more complex. There's a lot more going on. It's a little bit sweeter. It's balanced yeah. still. That's going to upset some people. I'm going to say some people who have seen the tournament um, and who know about the apple cinnamon mead, they're going to think that one won. It's, yeah. just, it's super good. It, I it's, like it. It's good. I like it more than that one, but this is why we have three people. This is so that we don't have any tiebreakers. We have a real judgment. Okay. Uh, number 11 moves on. And, um, yeah. Here we go. This is number, uh, we're going to move on to number 14 and number 12. All right, we are on number 12 versus number 14. We are gonna start with number 12. The complexity, complexity of this one really helps a lot. The fact that it, it is complex, but it's not like too, um, like the beginning to end taste is the same. Does that make sense? There's some meats yeah, that I've it's, tried. It's balanced, it's yeah. consistent. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy this. I like this. Is, I, is this, is this, do we call this mixed berry? Yeah, earlier? we call this one okay. mixed berry. I, I think it's the mixed berry. It tastes like it. It has the berry flavors. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking blueberries and blackberries, um, strawberries, like stuff like that. So you can kind of get that berry medley mm -hmm. from it. Um, I'm a fan. Let's go ahead and look at, or try the 14 now. This is meat number 14. This is what, this is what I'm talking about earlier. I confuse this with another one. I think this one, in hindsight, is just the cherry meat. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not <clears throat> so sure on that. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I don't I get the chocolate it, side. I think it. I called it cherry earlier. Yeah, 
Well, that's what I said earlier. Um, when we did the white chocolate cherry and we did something else, we talked about, or I said something about how I, I thought this this one was white chocolate cherry, oh. but this one I think is just cherry. Yeah, so I confused. Yeah, I, I thought this was cherry originally. Okay. It's like, um, it's not as mead as because I would like, but. Yeah, it's very <clears> saying yeah, it was more of like a wine. This, yeah, was, was, this was the one that I didn't rate very well. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think so. All right, um, here we go. Let's vote. Uh, yeah, I had to go, I, I just think the mixed berry is a little more, has more character to build upon. Like this one feels flat a little bit to me. The cherry just feels a little flat. Yeah, there's not a lot of life, there's not a lot, lot going on. Doesn't feel dimensional. There's not a lot going on. Okay, um, the number 12, what we think is the mixed berry, moves on. We're now going to move on to mead number four versus mead number one. <laughs> We have mead number four battling mead number one. Let's start with number four. This is very obvious what this one is for sure. This has to be the peppermint. Very sweet. We talked about this in the quarterfinals a little bit. I won't dive too deep into it. We know you're not a fan. Well, this is the more I'm drinking it, the like almost the less, the less I like, like it. it. <laughs> yeah, the more you're exposed to it, the yeah. less you enjoy it. I hate to say that. I just. You know, yeah. that's fine, swear. This is the original peppermint mead that was second place in the um, tournament of 2018. So I think that's interesting. Uh, I'm a fan. I Maybe it's nostalgia factor to me. Maybe it's the fact I've made a lot of these. It's That makes it a little bit harder for me to knock some of them out. But uh, I like this one a lot. Here's number uh, one. Okay. Yeah, this is what, going back to what we talked about a moment ago. <coughs> I love this. Do you, what's the difference between this one and that one to you? Number well, 12. We're not there yet, man. Gotta, I know, but like... This is more fruit. It has more fruity flavor? Yeah. Okay. That's really interesting. Because the methods by which the fruit were introduced in, is totally different. This, this... It's a little bit sweeter. It has a little bit more fruit. It's got this like rich chocolatey spice to it. Mm -hmm. Um... It's a really cool color. Like when we were looking at it on the background earlier, it's like a really pretty color. It's really um, very full. It's yeah, uh, full bodied. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. That's what I enjoy. Well, so I will say this: the I think this is the white chocolate cherry. Mm -hmm. The fruit in that one was a puree, and the fruit in this one was actually a uh, was this one or was it the cherry? I don't know. Whatever the other cherry one we did was actual cherry, like. Real cherries. Yeah, real cherries. Interesting. Okay. So there was a difference. I don't I actually really like cherry flavoring very much. Uh, I think okay. it, com I usually, it usually comes off like... Artificial. Artificial, yeah. It, it does. Well, this is perfect because you don't like peppermint. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I think, I think this is very good. All right, let's vote. I got I to gotta stick to my roots. Mm, I'm the tiebreaker. I'm the tiebreaker. You got to be right. on it. Oh, honest. Yeah. I'm actually like kind of mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the upset. I, I, okay, I'm a little salty that the apple cinnamon, my, one of my favorites, didn't make it in. So, I understand. Yeah, that, honestly, that one wasn't one of my So, favorites. the peppermint moves on. Um, the original peppermint from the 2018 tournament. We are now going to be facing number mead number 8 versus mead number 16. Okay, we have mead number 16 versus mead number 8. We're going to start with number 16. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, I don't need to... It's interesting, the, the, um, compared to the last tournament I did, the confidence I had going into this, maybe it's because my palate's gotten a little better and I've made more and tasted these more. But whenever I did my original tournament, I was just like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got half of them wrong. I feel confident with this. This is... That pineapple habanero. Yeah. So the more I'm tasting this, the more I like it. Mm -hmm. um, I, you you did a good job of like getting that like fruitiness that habaneros can have. Like mm -hmm. just the pepper itself mm -hmm. kind of comes out nicely in that. I can't claim much. I used a pepper, a habanero, a pineapple habanero jam. Uh, it, just, it, 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 
I would, if you had told yeah. me that you use real habanero yeah. and, and real pineapple, I would, I would believe, believe you. you. Yeah. It's, it, it's uh, if you want to use it, it's called Pot Liquor Kitchen. They make a bunch of different stuff, but I really like it. Um, it's it's very good. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. Um, it's that the heat's just enough. Yes, I couldn't drink a lot of it. Mm-hmm. It's definitely but, like a small taster. Yeah, but I think like I kind of have like barbecue or something with it. Yeah, <laughs> it just sounds good. The mead pairing. That's what mm-hmm. I want to get to in the future is mead mm-hmm. pairing and food pairing with things. Let's move on to number eight now. Oh yeah, we were we were here earlier. I got a. I this is this is the pyramid. It's just so enjoyable. You like, dude. This is so crazy. <laughs> you are all about this one. I don't know. I like it. I I didn't like it as much initially. Yeah. The more I'm tasting it, I can see the potential. I think I, that it has. I can see, but my problem is I can see potential, but I'm not gonna go and open each bottle. You know what I mean? Like, no. Like if I redid it, I think it could be really good. I think this would be delicious, just canned and sparkling. Yeah. No, I, I definitely want to revisit at some point. Yeah. Slightly sweet. If I'm going to vote, yes. I'm going to be honest, I can't vote for that. I, I, I'm actually going to vote for the habanero yeah. because yeah. I, I think it's a better it's better made, but yeah. I just <laughs> I just think it's an honorable mention. Okay. I, I, I <laughs> it's, it's, that. Just, it's more complex. I They'll accept that. Wow. And that's, the, that's the end of the semifinals. That's right. pretty crazy. Nice. Hey, so the uh, number eight, mo- or sorry, number eight is eliminated. The number 16 moves on okay so that's the end of the semifinals we've gone through quarterfinals we've gone through semis we're now working our way towards the finals if you want to see that video of course uh, it'll be in the description of this um, video but it will also if you're watching this when it's posted it probably will be out a little bit later uh, i'm excited for this this is really interesting um, especially the difference of opinions because there are some things that i really like and you know some things that they really like and it's just I enjoy this, especially the collaborative side. So, if you want to check out that video, go do that. Um, you'll see finals, the finals very soon. And then after that, of course, we have the grand finals to see who wins the Mead Tournament of 2020. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.